Hey guys, it's Aviera from Action Esports. In today's video, we will talk about items and the shopping phase. We briefly touched upon this in our Learning the Basics video. If you still need to learn more about the basics, be sure to check out that video first. Shopping phase takes place after the battle phase. In Artifact, you get rewarded with gold for every kill you obtain after the battle. You get 1 gold for killing creeps and 5 gold for killing heroes. The gold obtained can be used to buy items from the shop in the shopping phase. Let's talk about items. Items are a special type of artifact cards that can only be used in-game by purchasing them from the shop. The cost of each item is denoted by the number in the lower right corner of the card, and their type is represented by a symbol below the item name. Items can be divided into three categories. Hero items, consumables, and secret shop items. First, we have hero items. Hero items provide passive bonuses to the hero. If the hero equipping the item dies, the item effect still persists when the hero is redeployed later. Each hero has three item slots, weapon, armor, and accessories. If you try to equip an item in a slot that already had an item, it replaces the previous one and the item replaced does not return to your hand. Weapon slot items improve offensive capabilities, usually by increasing damage output. However, some weapons also provide other bonuses and utility. A weapon item is represented by a double sword icon. The armor slot items, on the other hand, improve your survivability of your heroes, usually by increasing the hero's armor or debuffing the hero's attackers. It is represented by a shield icon. Helm of the Dominator is a strong armor item, but is also very expensive and costs 19 gold to buy. In addition to giving equipped hero plus 3 armor, it also provides the hero with an active ability to take control of an enemy creep. With this ability, you can swing the board state in your favor whenever you trigger the ability. Lastly, we have the accessory slot items. These items also improve survivability, but instead of providing armor, they provide more health. Most accessories also provide useful active abilities. They are represented by a heart icon. Let's take Horn of the Alpha for example. It gives the equipped hero plus 4 health and an active ability to summon a creep called Thunder Height Pack that can do 6 siege damage. Next up on the item categories we have consumables. They are represented by a potion icon. Unlike other items on the list, consumables are played similarly to ability cards where they can only be used once. Town Portal Scroll is a cheap consumable that returns an allied hero to the fountain. This can be very useful when your hero is weakened and your towers and ancients are in no immediate danger. Last on the item categories, we have secret shop items. These are a special type of hero items that are usually more expensive and more powerful than the regular ones. These items belong to a certain pool of cards that is the same for every player. This means that sometimes the items available in the secret shop may not be beneficial to your strategy at that particular point in time. The shop allows you to purchase these items that will rotate after every shopping phase. Items available are usually random, so you never know what might be available to buy. Sometimes you might want to save gold to buy a different item in the next shopping phase if you're not satisfied with the options you have currently. The shop is divided into three sections. The leftmost card is from the secret shop, the rightmost card is a consumable. Secret shop item and consumable options are the same for every player. The middle card is the option that differs from player to player because it is from your item deck. What is an item deck you might ask? Item deck is a separate deck that you create before the game with 9 items that cannot be drawn normally but will be available for purchase as the middle card in the shop. You can create an item deck in such a way that it is useful to you in most situations. You do not have that kind of flexibility with secret shop items and consumables. For example, since the secret shop has expensive items, you might want to stack your item deck with cheaper cards that help you in the early game. Once you buy a card from the item deck section, it will replace it with a different item deck card that you can also buy if you are interested and are able to afford it. It is important to note that the same does not apply to the secret shop and consumables. 
item shop has a unique mechanic known as holding. Holding allows a player to pay one gold to retain an item from the secret shop section. This is useful because you might not be able to afford the item option or do not need it on that turn, but you know that you will probably want to buy it in the next shopping phase. That's all for today folks. I hope this gave you a better understanding of items and the shopping phase. Leave a comment about what items you like the most and what kind of videos you would like us to make next. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.